Okay, we need to walk like 200 miles again. Oh. <gasps> That's... Couldn't you just lock the... Space technology! Okay, just uh, go back here. Well, that looked like a human. That looked oddly like a human. Oh god. Um, Once we do this, there's no going back. Stop repeating yourself or I will- Hey, mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Yes. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. That's not what I intended to do. I see your point. I think I'm ready to make the decision. It tells me Edgewater is going to die without workers and powers. The deserters are a community. I can't just destroy what they built. I see your point. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. You had, you do, you do. Uh, I'm glad you did. I like hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Well... I'm gonna kill you and I'm gonna eat you. Um, we are just gonna redirect the power. Uh, are you sure you want to continue? Yes, sir. Redirect power to Edgewater. Yes. Uh, exit. Um. Okay, divert power from geothermal plant. Uh, how do we get out now? Oh god, it was so hard getting in. How do we get out? Oh, I think getting out is easy. Or is it? I don't know. Where? I'm already confused again. That's Space's choice reputation increased just after I killed that one poor guy. Oh, that's a lot of... <gasps> I borrowed a copy of Young Space's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I think it's volume 3. I need something to read down in page. Multiply it. See Higgins. That was one of those... Uh, thing. Oh! So Higgins has... Oh, we're gonna find Higgins. Because he has one of those journals that Thomas needs. So... Yeah, we're just gonna politely talk to him and... Kindly ask if he can give us the fucking journal. Uh, if he can give us the nice journey. Hey, um... He didn't have the journal. You saw nothing. Uh, yeah, how are we... Okay. We just killed him for no reason at all. Uh... Yeah, just don't mention it to anybody, okay? What was that? I heard something. We, okay, another, yes, exit, exit. Oh my god, yes, yeah, vending machine discovered. It's fuck, vending, vending machine. A hexagon of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending. We can sell items to it. Or, oh, oh, I broke my arm. We can sell, oh yes, sir. We're gonna make one shit ton of money. Sell, sell, sell. Um, sell, sell, sell. What are you? Do you make more damage? No, you don't. Old Man McDonald had a triple blade. E L E L O. And with the blade, he killed the spread. E L E L O. From the ballad of the Choosy Spacer. Okay, just. Uh, nope, I wanna sell you. And I wanna sell you. And I wanna sell. You and I want to sell you, 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 uh, you, you, you. Uh, I have two of them. Uh, bypass shunt. Sell, sell, sell. Oh, we have a fucking telescoping staff. The iconic space of choice telescoping staff can be modified in many ways for additional cost. Now available in Mark II. Um, okay. Guess that'll be enough selling for now.
power of Jesus Christ compels you, demon. Get out of this fucking vending machine. You okay, vending machine? I I I hope that helped. Um, can we break in there? You just chilling there? Okay, I have no problem with that. Transition to Emerald Vale region. Fox Windows adds beauty and verismal fucking complicated word. Um. That's a cool sound. Okay, let's just go and go. Yeah, let's go and go. Oh god. Hello, Thomas. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Uh today's your lucky day, Thomas. I've got one of those data pads you wanted. No kidding. Really? Well which one? I don't know. Part one. Look at that. Building a computing machine out of spectrum potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. Um, One data pad's enough to guide me down my newfound path. Just remember, I got something saved for you if you find me all three. Yeah, no, we are not gonna find anything else. Uh, so, where, how, what? Uh, oh, she's in the dark. That's definitely a murder cellar. That's the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. You wanna fight, old lady? It's all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I wanna ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me. Why did you do it? Um, this isn't personal, Adelaide. I need your power regulator. You killed my garden, destroyed my community, sentenced my flock to a lifetime of slavery in Edgewater for a power regulator. Well, shit, I wish it was personal. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. No, it ain't, lady. You tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. Um, what happened to you, Adelaide? All this anger had to come from Summer. You're being unreasonable. Come back to Edgewater. I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. What happened to you? Worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. The plague. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. I am truly sorry, but uh, enough talk. You can go fuck yourself. Uh, can we steal anything from her? Can we beat her up or something? Is that something to steal? <gasps> That's something to steal. What do you think you're doing? Oh yes, bribe. I'll pay you one hundred forty-seven. <laughs> Whatever I want. <laughs> do what you want, I guess. Oh yes, pick a power regulator. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, uh, deserter's reputation decreased. I don't I don't care. I don't I don't care. I'm a horrible person. Hello, Grace Romero. Marauders can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. There's nothing left for you here. It's time to go back to Edgewater. It's been weighing on me. Fact is, I can't go anywhere long as Zoe's missing. Disappeared without a trace. Marauders took her, I suspect. Don't tell me you're scared of a few marauders. I've lost off my share of marauders. This ain't about them. I go looking for Zoe. I leave the camp undefended, seeing as I'm the only one of us who knows her way around the gun. Hence my dilemma. Yeah, well, uh, how well do you know her? Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Okay, yeah, uh, you seem so personable. Can't imagine how you didn't get on with her. She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. 
Okay, okay. Can we leave? I'll keep an eye out. Uh, maybe the Marauders took her away. I don't want to keep an eye out. I really don't want to start another mission. There. No telling why Marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skill as far as I can tell. Damn, that's roasted. I'll keep an eye out. Just not like Zoe to go wandering. Yep, yep. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Uh, unless Marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in a lot of places. Could do without the gallows humor. No. I'll leave you be. We are not gonna look. Oh, so we need to do it. We need to do it because. I'm not in the lightest of humors right now. Or can we convince her other way? If I quit. No. I'll tell you what I can. No. I don't want to be a good guy. I don't want to be a good guy. Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Ah, oh, well. Little ways ago. Nobody will stop me. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. Now let's change what the subject. Goodbye. That's the subject. Uh, can we convince him at least? Any luck finding one of those manuals? You need to go, my boy. I've been Go. thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. Well, that's just fear talking. Uh, yeah. You know something? I think go be right. an engineer. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. It's just, Adeline's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life. Fuck Adelaide. And I'm as good as dead to her. Screw Gatorade. Uh, stay. Okay. Leave Adelaide behind. Edgewater needs you. Sure about this. We if need we head you. Back to Edgewater on our own. Adelaide won't come with us. She'll stay here and curse us till the end of her days. Who cares? I'm sure you're better off in Edgewater. Let Adelaide stay here. I expect we got no choice. Edgewater needs us back, and loath as I am to admit it, we need Edgewater. You okay with this, Grace? Zoe's still out there. Don't much care to leave her unaccounted. If you find her, could you let me know? We'll be waiting in Edgewater. Just give us some time to gather our personals and say our goodbyes. If you run into Reed, you tell him we're coming back, yeah? Yes. Yes, of course I will. Of course, my boy. You wanna see, like, this red room there? I can show you things. You are creeping me out. You're looking right into my eyes and it's really uncomfortable. I have a big hammer. And I have an even bigger wiener. And this is getting real weird. So please just stop looking at me. Hey, Eddie, some uh, Parvati, Pravani, would you mind killing him for me? Oh, you would? Uh, fuck you. Okay. Just move it. Big boy slam. And we need to walk. Okay. And I would walk 528 meters just to walk 528 meters more. Just to get to Mr. Reed. I would walk 520 meters just to walk 550 meters more. Yes, this is the best I can do. And I would walk 370 meters just to walk 363 more. And this is gonna be the only thing we'll do while walking. And I would walk 330 miles. Okay, maybe maybe something else. Um, Hush, little baby, don't say about... Uh, no, that's not fitting. Maybe we should just... Oh yeah, I know what. Um, just... Yeah, no. Um, you know what? We're not gonna stay here for long. We are just gonna get out of here real quick because... I don't want anything to do with them. Um, even though everybody should be dead. Could you stop it, maybe? I mean... If that's just a space rat, I will be disappointed. It's definitely not just a space rat, goddammit. Jesus Christ. 
God. S stop. Stop. Holy shit. God damn it, fucking bird. You're not scaring me. Moon man. Yes. Transition to edge water. If there's edge water, if they're like inner water or like middle water or something like that or hey, how does that work? God damn it, why there are so many birds? Holy shit. Let's just go into Pravani Tani. Oh, teleporting again, I see. Hello, Mr. Reed. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? Um, Adelaide won't come back to town, but her followers will. That's good enough for me. Adelaide and I have a history. It was unlikely she'd ever come back. But hope springs eternal. We are in your debt. I am authorizing you for a discount on all official Spacer's Choice products, courtesy of the people of Edgewater. Thank you, I am so honored. Wait, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. By all means. Um, you have your workers back. What happens now? I'm at a worker by the name of Thomas. Says he wants to be an engineer. Thomas. Thomas Kemp? I remember him. Had to write him up for daydreaming a few too many times. Uh, she's a decent, decent mechanic. Uh, Pravati will vouch for him. He tries real hard. Pravati, I, I can't pronounce this that name. This is something he wants to do. That'll make him twice as good. You may be right. And with the town set to grow, it is time I invested in a new mechanic. Never mind. Uh, or you have your workers back. What happens now? This whole fiasco is not one I am keen on repeating. I was too hard on my own workers. I pushed them to their breaking point. So push them harder. Um, you're the boss, you don't have to bend for them. Look, we're a small, poor town on some backwater corner of Terra 2. Only way we're surviving the coming years is by working together. Well, never mind. Just go. Companion, perks. Companion has level up and can be granted a new perk. Okay. Uh, I don't want to shoot you, so like, just point it away. And skills, we can invest in skills. Oh yeah, we are leveling up. What do we want to level up? Defense, dodge or block? Dialogue, stealth, tech, leadership. Let's just put that a bit in there and a bit in there. So we have three points still available and put the rest in tech. Okay. Uh, yep. X, accept that. And Parvati. So, you've got that poor weapon. Uh, do you use my ammunition? Because I hope you don't. And, yeah, you you can keep using that hammer. And perk, what perk? Increase your engineering skills when Parvati is in the party. Decrease your... De decrease, decrease, decrease the amount of threat his, this companion generates. Increase the amount of threat. Increase this companion's maximum health. That's always good. And we are going to do that. Okay, go down again and teleporting Pravati. Hey, teleporting Pravati. How do you like it in the corner? Yes. Oh God, I'm. Oh, what the hell? Uh, I just saw inside her head. That's not good. That's not. That's not how a head works, right? I. Sh yeah, the unreliable transition to emerald range, 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 whatever. Still, where's the unreliable? That's not the way we came from. I uh, guess we'll just take, uh, go around and do things like, you know, just go there and don't do anything because we are stupid. Yes. Okay, oh god, it's a fucking big boy. Oh god, yep, yep, shoot those bitches. No, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, gee, what was that? It lagged. No, oh, god. Just take them out. Oh, you are. No, 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 no. Oh god. Oh god, that's a fucking big boy. That's a fucking big boy. Get away, fucking. Holy shit. Huge fucking big boy. Okay, uh. Yeah, spacebar times two, but 
I can't dodge, that's my problem. Oh, I broke my... Fucking damn it. Can I dodge now? Why can't I? I'm pressing spacebar two times. God damn it. I... You see, I'm pressing spacebar. I... Oh, you don't need to... You can't do it while sprinting. Of course. Of course you can't fucking do it while sprinting. Well, you know what, you fucking marauder bitch. Oh, oh god, Pravati, do something. Yes. Right in his nuts. Okay. Woo! Yes, speed, big boy. Oh, he's still alive. You are dead. You know that. Oh god. Um, and dodge. Uh, double space bar, jump, dodge thingy. Oh, I... Would you... S ah! I can't control this shit. Uh, I'm just, we are not gonna dodge once in this whole game because I can't control it. Okay. Let's get into the spaceship thing. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but... Every time I think of going back, I get this... Sinking feeling. Well... I can understand... Not wanting you to go back. No, nope. I can understand you not wanting to go back. You didn't seem happy in Edgewater. Oh, well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something. And you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Well, you better watch my, uh, work my engine real good. Real good. I sure read won't mind you living with me. You just met me. Why would you want to go into space with a stranger? Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Edgewater was on the verge of collapse before you showed up. You sent them power and now the town might see another season. You didn't know those deserters a thing, but you helped them anyway. I not I made didn't. sure they had a home to come back to. Not really. You ain't exactly a stranger anymore. You've done some kindness hereabouts. I wouldn't mind following somebody like that. Okay, yeah, but before you do that, can I turn around like 180 degrees and you just watch my back for an hour? Then you can. You said you'd watch my back. This was such a dad joke and I am so sorry. Please don't kill me or please do. I'm sorry. I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin, it's yours. <laughs> I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. That's master to you. I can call you captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Or you can call me master. I think you did the rightest thing you could sending the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for. Even if they ain't care much for me. We'll talk later. That was a short conversation. Okay. Open. Hello. Miss, Miss Unreliable. Is that ship a miss or a mister? Maybe it's a master. Hello, Ada. Ada. I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. I didn't, though. What can I do for you, Captain? I have a power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Of course I do. Of course. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you. Across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Thanks. Can you send it to my um, pocket hammer? I need to look at... Do you have Ada maps or is this is this just a new version? Apparently it, it's just a new version. Well, we got scammed out of the ship. I mean, it doesn't even have the new version of Ada OS. <laughs> Install the power supply uh, regulator and done. Okay. Would you stop following me and break my legs? Oh, I made it without breaking my legs. That's a first. Hello, Ada. 
Again. Captain. Lift off. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. What do you mean acceptable? To bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Sure. Let's get out of here. Hold on, I need to take care of something. Let's get out of here. Oh yes. Three, two, one. And lift off. And maximum awaiting maximum pressure. Maximum Q reached and all parameters optimal. I don't know what I'm talking, I probably butchered that. I just watched a lot of SpaceX launches, so I tried to say something that sounded like that, but I don't really think Dr. Phineas Wells. I know that well. Good, I've been waiting to hear from him. This better be quick. Based on my initial calculations of Dr. Wells' personality, that seems highly unlikely. Aha, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing. I assure you. Um, I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, <laughs> find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay, we have a lot of options to choose from. Uh, slow down, you're asking me to get involved with the black market. Why do I need an F key to land on the planet? Fine, I'll go have a word with the Gladys. Or I could put a couple light years between me and Halcyon. Can't land somewhere outside Stellar Bay? Without We're a not skip drive? Uh, good I mean luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Okay, um... About this Gladys person, how do you know I can trust Gladys her? and I have been doing business for years. Her that doesn't mean anything in the black market. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Okay. Uh, can I land somewhere outside Stellar Bay? In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And, in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. Ah, I like those odds. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia. And I I'm am. I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me. Talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. Okay, okay. I'll go have a word with her. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. A wireless? By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Uh, okay, well, I'll put it to good use. Thank you. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. But it's a lie. The cake's a the lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Uh, got it. Got it, my boy. 
So we should should we get this uh, like invisibility cloak or whatever that is like how do we get it? oh stairs we have stairs that's a good way holographic shroud pick it up holographic shroud the holographic shroud protects the disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to restricted areas provided you have the correct ID cartridge for that area restricted areas off limits to unauthorized personnel and that always result in being attacked on site very interesting very good um use terminal what can we do messages for Alex Hathorn. Uh, unread from you Brett Bedford yeah uh, no we are not gonna read through that uh, what's that been nothing okay anything else examine Adelaide's dessert has dreamed of an independent life without board oversight you thought taught them an important lesson never dream we just stole the fucking edge water sign damn that's hella cool. Okay. We'll be going to Gladys, 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 Gladys. Welcome to the system map. Here you can see all the planets in the system. Blah, blah. Points of interest. Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous and all the planets are encouraged to remain home at, or at work. Or at work. Okay. We'll have to do that.